Shalom, Shalom, Israel, coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing, this is edifying. First off, giving all praise, all honor, all glories to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakach Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone and all the teachers out there pushing this word in truth, with truth and sincerity, especially now, risk your lives to do so. May you be the elect. Shalom to all the Akim and the Akwath out there listening and learning. You Israelites, so called Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians who are the true children of Israel, as well as you speckled bird, Israelite foreigners, the Israelites that look like, act like, and take on the customs of all these heathen nations. So to you, I say Shalom. This lesson is brought to you by the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the true name of our Father, the God of the Bible, the God of the Israelites, Bahashim meaning in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the only begotten son of Yahweh, who the world eagerly calls by the name of JC. And I was just meditating on the fact, right, fact that, you know, you can read scriptures all day long, you know, and, and this is, this is what I'm speaking on is for those that are rather in the truth or not in the truth, right? More so uh, for those that are in the truth, but, you know, either which way, you can read the scriptures all day long. It's only when... Mm, all right, I'll put it like this. You hear these R&B songs, you know, a lot of them be sad as hell. And you you singing a song, you know, you, you, you understand what the lyrics are saying and all that. But it don't really strike you until your so-called heart get broke. Right? Now you going through the shit. And now the song on the radio, now you hearing the, the lyrics. All right? And, and so now what's happening? Hey, <laughs> you... You starting to get a little in your in your feelings, right? You having these thoughts. Yo, you now you you feel like your eyes getting watered up and shit, right? You start reminiscing, right? Next thing you know, you at your destination, wondering how you got there, because the whole time you sitting there thinking about, you know, you 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 going through the shit, listening to them R and B songs. Shit hit different, right? When you going through it, <coughs> and I was meditating on that, you know. Um, when, when you really, when you really down and out, all right, then you start reading the scriptures, the scriptures hit different. All right. And same thing with these songs. You hear these songs on, on the radio day in, day out. And unless you're going through it, you really can't feel that song. You really can't feel the music. Right. So it's the same, uh, uh, energy when it comes to the scriptures. If you ain't, if you ain't suffering, all right, if you ain't going through it, and then, th again, this is more so for those that are actually in the truth, all right, if you ain't going through it, you can read the scriptures, you know, sound good, might, might even be some parts where it feel good, but if you ain't going through it, you, you really don't get the depth of the scriptures, all right, so that's what this lesson is going into. Lesson, scripture hit different when you down and out. Psalm 119, 71. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. Exactly. When you down and out, right, when you have a contrite spirit, broken, and you start reading them scriptures, it, it, it's a whole different vibe, man. It's a whole different energy. Because now... You know, it's like uh, you you got nothing else left to, to, to give. You got nothing else to focus on. All you focus on is this word. And when you really broken, that's when your 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 heart, right, your mind is is more open. Is it's now vulnerable, right? Your your guard is down, so to say. You know, the the scripture can now penetrate through, through that armor, through that thick skull. Right, that that proud, not even so much proud, but you know that that spirit was oh you know all was good. I wasn't really thinking about the Lord like that because everything was all good. And when now when you down and out, your your spirit is crying out, you know. So when you start reading them scriptures now, now it, it hit different. Now you seeing it in four D, HDMI, you know what I'm saying, versus a uh, two uh, D, you know. 
Psalm 119, 71 again, it is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. And that's plain. Isaiah 66 and 2, for all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith Yahweh. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. You see that? All these things, whatever it be in the world, it's like, yeah, 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 all right. But he pays attention to those that's looking for him. Right? It's like everything else is black and white. The ones that's crying out. And you have to know the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. If you ain't calling on no names, I don't know what you're doing. Because uh, the JC person ain't coming. That's a fairy tale. All right? There's a reason why we don't say that name. We, there's a reason why we don't have a false God's name in our mouth. As the scriptures tell us to, to, to not do. Don't have no name that's not of Yahweh, uh, your Yahweh Shai in your mouth, man. Okay? So when I say JC, a lot of y'all, you know who, that, who that's supposed to be. I'm not going to say the name. Fuck that name. All right? I despise that name. I despise any of those that want to deal in that name. Because that's not the names. All right? Ain't no other name under heaven uh, that, uh, where you can be saved by. Okay? For all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith Yahweh. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembles at my word. The Lord is only dealing with those that are humble. Right? Because best believe, hey, in these last days, everyone, if you ain't already humble, you're going to be humble. And those that's already humble right now, we're going to be even more humble. Right, because we understand that all these things gotta happen for Yahweh Bashimel to come back. You know, all these things get, but it's already it's it's already a comfort because it's, the scriptures already told us these things are gonna come. You know, but you gotta have faith and you gotta believe that you are of the elect. Right? Okay, you may not be the. We're hopeful, of course, we're hopeful to be the of the hundred forty four thousand. But you just better hope that you are the elect, that you part of the one third period. You don't want to be of the two third. You don't want to be of that heathen. You know, you want to hope that you are a, 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 on the good side of things. That's that fear of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You're gonna be doing what you need to be doing to 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 stay right and get right, right? Because the rest of the world ain't gonna do it, right? And that, that's why they're gonna be humbled in the end. Every knee. Is going to bow. All right. The Lord is only dealing with those that are humble, those that are seeking Yahweh Bashimel Shai. All right. It's the point. Proverbs 2, verse 1 through 6. It's my son. If thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding, yea. If thou criest after knowledge and lifted up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, her being Sophia, this wisdom, right, and searchest for her as for hid tre treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and find the knowledge of the Most High. For Yahweh giveth wisdom, and out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. You got to be looking for your how about Shimmy Shai. You got to be excited. Just like I said here, just, you trying to look for some uh, 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 a 32 carat diamond, right? Somebody told you it, it, it's, it's over yonder, all right? You're going to be excited as hell to go look for it. You're going to be, you're going to, what I got to do? Let me let me sell my house to, to buy all the things I need to, to, to get to find this treasure. Fuck that house. This, this right here is where it's at. And once I had this diamond, I can go buy several houses and and uh five uh, uh big ass nice cars or whatever the case may be, right? That's how you got to be looking in these words, man. Looking in the scripture. That's how you should be looking for your how about she was shy. Because this is the true wealth is this word, man. All right? You fall in line with your how about she was shy and do what is expected of you and you being of the elect hopeful, 
you get on that chariot, hey, man, you have no idea what the Lord got saved up for those that came back to him. None of us do. All the movies in the world cannot uh, uh, put in, in, into uh, perspective what the Lord got for us, man. And, and, you know, the mind can go pretty far in this uh, imaginative state. We have no idea what the Lord has planned for us. You know, provided we endure until the end. Right? G get that salvation. We have no idea, man. All right? So, you looking for Yahweh by Shemel Shai? Hey, you, you, the, you the lamb bleeding out for the shepherd. Man, man. I'm lost. I need to be found. Babu Kasha, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, Babu Kasha, Abba. Please. Right? The shepherd gonna come find you. But you got to be willing to put down your damn ego, right? Your pride, accept accountability, repent, and come back to the Lord, man. Okay? That's pretty much the point, all right? <clears throat> Again, scripture hit different when you down and out. Anybody can read the scriptures all day long. When you really hurting and you really crying out for y'all by your mouth shot, now I go ahead and go read them scriptures. See, 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 don't it hit you a little bit different? See, don't you get a little bit more understanding? Lord willingness is edifying, giving all praise, all honor, all glories to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone and all the teachers out there pushing this word and truth with truth and sincerity. Especially now, whiskey allowed us to do so. May you be the elect. Y'all better stay prayed up, man. Repent, not just for this lifetime, but your past lives as well. Ababa ball, kwam yashirala shalawong.